Well everyone, I finally got One UI 2 installed on my Samsung Galaxy S9. It took like 50 years for me to do it, but I finally got it. I figured I'd drop this video on my second channel because it's already like kind of been dated. I think a lot of people already have this on their phone, so... Really, I will say, as I said before, there's two main differences between One UI 1 and One UI 2 that have really changed my perception on really every single device that was on One UI 1. Because even before, I was like, you know, I think it's a good software, but it's not the best one. But this one really changed up a little bit. Still like the same perception, I just still don't think it's the best one. But it's very, very decent in my opinion. So, those two changes are the ones that you already see. It's the removal of the navbar for actual gesture-based design, as well as dark mode. So, I'll go ahead and break those down for you two right now. So, I will say another thing. The animations, when I'm going into something, when I'm leaving an app and all that, are much smoother, as you guys can see. If I, so, if I go into Chrome, for example, if I look at whatever, right, and I hop out, just look at that animation. It just like almost seems like you can just see how much smoother it is. It's literally just like iOS in a way, and I think this is even smoother than iOS, which is so weird. And this is a Galaxy S9. You know, this isn't the newest phone right now. And that is something that I really do like and I appreciate for Google actually embedding that within Android 10. So the animations, I mean, this phone feels almost like a brand new phone. It's just like anything I do with it. Now, you just saw one thing that I really don't like. So if I think if I grab it from that side, you see that that turns on Google Now or whatever. And I need to find a way to disable that. I really don't like that at all. Maybe if I just went to Google and disable it. But regardless, another thing with gestures is that you can swipe back that way. And with the Galaxy S9, it's so weird because this phone reminds me so much of a Galaxy S8. And it looks just like those phones doing it, which is really cool. And I really do like Samsung for doing that. Now, I'll show you the gesture-based thing. So if you go into display, just right there, and you go down to navigation bar or whatever right here, you'll see that you have additional settings. So before you had that actual, like, you had a little gesture thing where like if you swipe up it, up here, up here, it would like basically do the same thing as that. And I really didn't like that, so that's why I kept the nav bar, but this is full screen gestures. This is just like the same thing as before. You swipe up, as you can see, it's smooth. You can even go from one app to the other by dragging it up and going like that, I don't know why I went that way. But as you can see, you can swipe and multitask between apps. It's so smooth, it's so seamless, and it looks very, very nice. And as well, you can go back, like I stated, this way and go forward that way if you want to. And that's something that I really do like. Now with dark mode, it's also in display, I think. As you can see, you have that dark mode setting right here. You can enable it or disable it. Now, I like it. You can also turn on the schedule thing if you want to. But I like having dark mode with an OLED device like the Galaxy S9. It really does add that much more flair into a device like this. And you get to save a little bit of battery life because, you know, the OLED pixels, the dark ones are taken off. So that's something that I really, really do like. And with the gestures, actually, I forgot to mention this. If you go into your settings and you actually turn on the gesture-based design, you can actually disable the gesture bar hints at the bottom. So you can see you see gesture hints. If you enable this, you'll see a little bar on the bottom every single time. And I really didn't like that. It kind of looks like the iPhone 10, but you can see it takes up a little bit of the screen. I don't even need it because I don't really care about it. You can disable that and have that whole entire display for yourself, which is amazing. And I really do like that's one of my favorite things ever. And, and honestly, that's probably the biggest feature for Android 10. I don't think it's like an end all be all, but it's definitely a cool little thing for sure. But everything else seems about the same. Performance seems about the same. Battery life is about the same too. So if you're trying to up great for those things you're probably not going to see it it's going to be about the same type of update if i'm being honest but i definitely do like that gesture based design and that dark mode so those are two things that i would definitely recommend if you're having it at galaxy s9 i would probably recommend you to go up to one ui2 if you're having issues installing it like i've had issues installing it you can flash it through odin you can get the one ui2 update and go from there if you have an s9 plus the same way too but that's really pretty much it just a little update on the Galaxy S9. Not a crazy update like I said, but it does bring some fluidity. It does bring some less choppiness and some smoothness overall, as well as those gestures in dark mode. So that really pretty much covers it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comments section below. Hit that like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys would check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.